Alrighty guys, I'm out and about on a Saturday looking at some jobs. Not really in my buddy's neighborhood, but I decided since he's got his new machine actually at the house, come over and check this thing out. So my boy Tavit over here just picked this Cat 310 up. And I call him chicken. It's a different story. So it's a brand new 310. Go ahead and give me the specs on this thing because I want to run it through its paces and do a little... This tree needs to be pulled out, maybe. Hey, that's a nice tree. Yeah, it is. Okay. Is that a trailer? These rubber units mounted on there, because you got a triple grouser, which is like a standard kind of a... Exactly, yeah, triple grouser, but you can still bolt on these tracks. Oh, okay. And then you can take them off if you want to, and uh, usually those will start ripping themselves off sooner or later, start checking away at that over time. Auto-delete, but yeah. that gives you the option of tracking on blacktop. It be on asphalt or concrete. Mm -hmm. It's not going to mess the living heck out of it. Um, I did... Uh, get these track guides right there because these tracks weigh a ton and when you start picking up the machine it just helps keep everything in line a lot less chance of uh, popping your track system because the chain for those tracks they look very similar to the ones like on a prime tech a complete forestry machine oh yeah and you know an excavator traditionally these kind of sit and spin and do you know stationary work for the most part yeah, but you really don't track that much that's but... some hardcore undercarriage underneath that thing oh yeah I mean, the... It has so much traction and power, it'll, pu it'll push right through, no problem. I honestly surprised myself because half the time, you know, in a smaller excavator, you gotta like push yeah. yourself into the pile so you can move it out of the way. And all or you're way. fighting for traction. Exactly. But yeah, this thing has it all. So, obviously, Cat's been doing you well. Yep. Reasons why we'll start off why you didn't go with the 308, 309. Why'd you go with the 310? 308, the more like that was the first machine I wanted to get was the 308. Mm hmm. And the 309 was definitely in the in the choosings to buy an excavator, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I just want something that has the most amount of beef still being in a mini X category. Yeah. And Which... with this one, at least with the, the 309, you still get a swivel boom. Mm -hmm. uh, this one completely removes that, and now you have a twin cylinder, you know, uh, stationary stick. And yeah. That, you just get way more lifting power. That puts the... Hinge point farther back in the machine versus what he's talking about is like what a backhoe has. It's got an articulation right here, which a 308 and a 309 and pretty much every, you know, excavator close to this class would have. But this one's actually, you know, a legit excavator tucked in there. And the thing here, is you too, stand next to this thing so they yeah, get kind of a size. I'm six foot ish. Yeah. About six one. This thing's absolutely monstrous. It, it takes up the entire width of the trailer. But uh, I just got this one because uh, Cat let me borrow an 18 inch bug because they didn't have this in stock until I picked <laughs> it's it up. Nice the of them. Day. Jeez, I mean, look at the beefcake on that thing right there. Just the coupler. So, what I got to mention here is some people might view this as a slightly small machine, but for the type of work that a boy to have it's in right here, he can still tow this behind 3500 Dually and a gooseneck. That's completely within the realm of. You know, it's towing capacity, ease of access to jobs. It's still a compact machine, but it's still, it has, you know, I would say it's a, a big punch to offer. And what you say, you got a 71 inch bucket, grading bucket, bucket, which is, that's, that's like a skid steer that floating around out there. Yard yeah. Scoop. So I'm going to, I'm going to just take the wheel of this thing and drive it. <laughs> got to give her a try. <laughs> the backhoe controller driver of a majigger of an it? operator. What's they call John Deere versus cat controls. Yeah, I just got kind of, yeah, deer controls. You just go down here, click on this sucker pattern changer, you go to the stupid mode, and then you're done. I'm a backhoe. <laughs> you anyway, a hope? <laughs> left stick does up and down main turret functions and rotation like it should be versus no. what other stuff. One thing I will note right off the bat that no. I see. Hey. <laughs> so other machines, Kubota, they got the second gear out here on your blade stick. So when you're tracking, pushing and stuff, you got that easy access. Other machines switched it to up here on main joystick. This one's got it on bolts. So gap space, pretty decent. Oh, we're about to get Where's that at? Yeah, she's warmed up. I'm and just going to like half throttle. Full throttle up here. I got to see what it does on all power to All right. All right, I'll let you go. Yeah, very fast.
Yeah, that was only half power, so here's full reps. That's the nice thing about this boom style. You can yank back and be so much further back to pull force. You don't run out of stick as much. I scratched my new bucket. <laughs> I just said like he he's scratching in my new bucket. <laughs> That's the smallest bucket I have for this machine. I have an 18, a 36, and a 71 for it right now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fire kicked up. <laughs> okay. We'll see how you perform. It's definitely a little bit sensitive on the controls. You can you can change that. You can change the actual sensitivity between like a high, medium, and low. Oh, I don't I don't mind it. It just takes yeah. Down. Uh, Some people, they don't like it when it goes too fast. Huh? Max power. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Full rip, and let's get her going. So the whole point of this video... Oh, he's backwards. <laughs> he's my only friend that I have that runs goofy controls. <laughs> yeah. That's neat. You can just do it with a button. All machines nowadays come with an uh, option to change the controls from cat to... I don't know whatever else you call it. Normally it's a valving underneath the floor or somewhere in the cab. That one's all electronic because it's all literally... I, just, I don't want to put the firewood in the, the gravel. He's got cut on it. Oh, he did it! Yeah. But anyway, the whole point of this video so I come out here see and feel how this one operates you know he's already ran it this morning so it's maximum power warmed up and sometime next week the Takahuchi is going to be at the house global is uh i've been working with them for a while now awesome people down there i just want to see how a cat compared to it because they're sending me with a whole bunch of goodies i want to see how this one compared this one is i gotta dig, get like a different trailer to haul it kind of a rig That sucker's got some thumb power, I'll say that. She quick thumb. <laughs> oh, don't tip it over. That bucket's got some girth to it for, what do you say, 18 inch bucket? Oh, technical. Hydraulic quick coupler. Doing dirt work is a freaking awesome, awesome to have that. Did you flip the bucket around? Oh, don't lose it. Backward bucket, boys. Short bus mode. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Squish your burrito right there. Yeah. That's so I was just saying for dirt work, it's a must to have for one, the quick coupler. It's, you would be surprised how often between a digging bucket and a grading bucket, you would go back and forth given the option. Like if you're like, well, 
if it takes you half an hour to switch it out, you're like, ah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll just, no, I'll stick with whatever bucket's on it. But if you have the three second option of hit the button, ditch it off of there, it switch over to the other bucket. It, this thing plumbed up for main control, high flow and uh, secondary flow. So that's pretty neat. And you don't have to detach your thumb. You just gotta turn that girl off with a little valve. That is, like, that's probably one of the quickest thumbs I've seen. Yeah, that thing holds that. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Oh. Yeah. Nice, simple. Yeah. The, the smaller ones are definitely troublesome. Yeah. The, uh, and it rattles like crazy. Yeah. I tell you, I broke the windshield on mine the second time. Didn't even know it. With the 12. Oh, no. Threw a rock up at it. My dad went to go grab the machine, and I was way down the hill doing some mulching. It was like an hour after I'd been in that area. A little, little sucker hit it right in the center of the windshield. So I had put my, it's got a piece of half inch, uh, yeah. Do they call it Plexi or Lexan is what they like to say. It's, I think it's cheaper stuff because it's got ripples in it. So I'm getting some thinner stuff. That was just what I had the first time I broke it. So I slapped it on there. Be careful with that now. Be careful. I wonder how much that one is. <laughs> Mine was 600 bucks. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, I don't know if there's anything else you can think to say about this machine that you want to throw on film, but I think it's sweet. I'm going to run it here a little bit more, just, you know, break that trailer. You hear that? Dude, might as well. <laughs> what does that mean? Obviously, I have a foot there. Oh, well, no, it just says no boots. you got to have mocks on. Oh, Come smoking on. shoes. Just watching him struggle with his bucket here. Oh, he's getting it. A lot better than he was a second ago. There you go, there you go, bud. Is it good? You centered? It. Yeah. All right. Let's see if he remembers what to do. Oh, there you go. You only have to hit it once. Goes clippy, clappity, then you hit lock. Yeah, boy. I got another flip right Yeah, <laughs> sink right to the cab. Oh, my God. Bye. <laughs> a long way home. It's not even revved up all the way. Oh, Jesus. Enjoy splitting wood. Stabbing. That bucket is freaking bad. Deliver me a brand new cord of wood because he screwed up my entire bucket. <laughs> the bucket's really fast and his stick lifter upper thing almost takes that jar bit to hold it down. 
Well, that's a fun machine there, dude. Yeah. I do enjoy it. Okay, just for comparison's sake, like this is a very affordable. Is it got extend a hoe? It does. No. What? I didn't know these little dingers had that. I guess we'll find out. It doesn't have a thumb, but anyway, this is you know an affordable machine for you know your average Joe kind of thing. This is what Tavit got to start his company with. Compare it to, uh, I believe they had a like you said that little Kubota excavator was like a ten thousand pound unit. And his skid steer, which is a sweet package because he could haul both of them at the same time. But we're just going to see, you know, an older entry level, cheaper variant. See how this thing moves and operates. So you guys have a comparison. What is this? A freaking Snowmageddon bucket. Okay. Man, 12F. Oh, is this skid steer out there? It is. Right. Chipmunk. Oh, even got a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen an excavator with extendo on it. Really? No. Oh. Obviously a back though. Yeah. It's the big handle. There you go. <laughs> going up. Yep, she's going up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. This is my first excavator right here. Don't be shy now. That one's stuck. <laughs> I don't use her too often, but she's still nice to have. Hey, yeah, get him. Get him good. <laughs> get rid of that water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go dump it over there. Gosh. You going to rev it up or what? <laughs> rev it up. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> Rolling gold. Goddamn stick. Yeah, right on top of my shovel. Perfect. God. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh god. <laughs> what? Your sticks were backwards. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's right, it's on your back heel, right here. Take your foot, right there. We left it. I said back heel. There you go. <laughs> there ain't no seatbelt. This is before OSHA. OSHA was here when they died. Yeah. Backward stick. Let's see if I can get this pile up. Yeah, because the actual control on it is right behind his foot and it's missing. It doesn't hold that function very well. You gotta extend it all the way out or nothing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some reach. Yeah, dude. It's so hard to do the control backwards. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, he's probably doing it better than I can with back air controls. That stuff's totally backwards. There you go. That's kind of cool. The best part was with this thing, I would do a lot of brush work jobs with it. So uh, I took off the thumb, but I, I, yeah. So I have a thumb right there and I'll, I'll boom or I'll stick this thing all the way out, come up into a pile and bunch it all together, squeeze it all into one. This thing would haul some brush. Dude, this pretty nifty little excavator. Your shovel got hurt by it though. Yeah. yeah that's about it. It's all right. Hang on, let me make sure. Okay. You got it. Do not resuscitate, dude. Seems good. Hey, hey. Let's get the rakes knocked out. That's a husky. It's a husky. All rakes suck these days. You ever been hit by a 6,000 pounds excavator? <laughs> I don't think it feels so good. That's what supposed to be. That way people don't step on them. What? Axe McGurr! What the hell? <laughs> it's funny watching a big dude in a small machine like that. <laughs>
<laughs> you want to hit yourself in the teeth of that stick now. Hey now. Go get the other machine. <laughs> I'm just being cautionary. We don't. We never know about him. Just making sure he doesn't do something cool. Hey, you're clear. Don't get stuck on the stump. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, gonna keep this outro short and sweet. Obviously, we were goofing around, having some fun. Went out of my way to go out there and test drive Tavit's brand new 310. Uh, really wanted to try that machine before I full on committed to anything else. They Global is definitely making jump through some hoops for me as far as the 290 goes. They're going to outfit it with and instead of the dangle grapple, they're going to go ahead and send it up my way with the fixed grapple. And I got different options I want to go into later on when that machine actually shows up. But all these excavators in the 20,000 pound category, they all run about 70, 75 horsepower, something like that. Uh, limited for EPA emissions stuff. If you go much higher than that, then you got to start throwing blue def on it and they're trying to keep them as simple as they can because this is, I honestly think that this machine and sizes like this are like the best thing going because it's right at the realm of what maximum tow is on most pickups these days with gooseneck. So your general contractor, you can do that without having to step up to a semi, which is higher insurance, higher premiums, all that stuff, you know, you can get your CDL for the big rig and you can still tow with a little pickup and it, it just it's an awesome little setup that's all I can say about it but what I want to see out of the 310 versus any of those things I wanted to see how the boom functions speed wise how it you know full extension retraction see what the speed in that is and this machine's quite a bit bigger than those other ones um, normally they're around 20,000 pounds this machine's 24 25,000 pounds according to the sticker and obviously it's got some more mass to move around and for what it's delivering at 75 horsepower it seems like it's got the same speed as the other ones driven a 309 felt about the same as that mm -hmm. looking forward to getting the 290 out in the field and actually going through all the functions with that thing again it's going to have the fixed Bateman grapple and they're going to hook up the FAE stump grinder to it as well so they're going to send the whole package out here and then if all goes to plan I'm going to order another one of those dangle grapples that I got on the 080 and so make a quick coupler quick exchange thing but camera's running out of stuff and it's going to be a longish video already so thank you guys for watching and no I did not buy a cat 310 thank you guys for watching Tavid did check out his videos I'm an operator he's got full feature videos of this thing actually in action on a job site see ya